Business Center Heavy Civil Edition from Trimble is a very robust software application for the construction industry. If you're a student, a, an engineer, a surveyor, you can also get into Business Center uh, HC and start using it for free today. You can simply go to the Trimble website for the construction website and download the software. And I'm going to show you a few of the kind of core functionality and features that you can use in Business Center basically at no cost and that's pretty powerful because you're, you're essentially getting a, a very basic uh, CAD program or with a program with CAD functionality that will even let you create a surface model or a triangulated model that is, is typically used or created from a uh, high-end or expensive uh, design software application and with Business Center you actually can do that for free and that's what I'm going to show you here today so what I have is uh, just to kind of be a, give you a quick overview. You you have a typical ribbon environment, much like uh, Microsoft uh, software application or other applications. You've got all kinds of tools up top on a quick access toolbar. You've got different panels or what are known as different views. And we're going to start by going to our uh, plan view, and we're going to simply go out and drag and drop a CAD file into that plan view. You can bring in. CAD files, you can bring in GIS data, you can bring in uh, point ASCII files, all kinds of information. And it doesn't have to be just AutoCAD, but you can also bring in DGN files or Bentley files. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this. And now that I've brought it in, you can see that it's simply uh, line or vector data that I can take a look at and check out its properties. And you can see that I've got some elevations to it. It's got a length that's on a particular layer. So we have full layering functionality within Business Center. Um, you can create layers It imported the layers that were in the CAD file. And then what I'm going to be able to do is look at this also in a 3D view. So simply by clicking on a tab over here, I can rotate this guy around and I can see the information in 3D. One of the neat features of the 3D view is that you can actually exaggerate simply by holding your control and shift key down and rolling your wheel I can exaggerate that view to look for anomalies possibly in my uh, project data. So what I have right here is simply just the, uh, the vector data. And maybe I want to bring in the point file. So I'm going to do the same thing. Go to my plan view and bring in the ASCII point file just by simply dragging and dropping. And then I'm going to select the format and we'll import that as well. So now I've got points in the drawing that I can also use. And you can see if I take a look at those, they're in 3D as well. So I'll go back to the plan view. <clears throat> and then with this data, I can use any of this information with X, Y, and Z data to create a surface. I could use the points. I could use the contours. I could use the 3D lines that make up the break lines. So I'm going to show you that. I'm just going to go to the surface tab. We'll click on the create surface option. We'll give it a name. We can classify it. We can call this maybe our original ground. And then we just simply go out and select the surface members. Now I can do that by just simply picking on them within the drawing or the project in my uh, workspace here. Or I go to options and I can select by uh, all kinds of different methods. So if I say select by layer, I can come in here and simply pick the layers that I want to bring in. So if I pick the uh, contour lines and then I'll grab the 3D lines which will make up my break lines. We want to bring in that, uh, that ditch line as well. Oops, deselected that. Let's pick that again. Let's pick the ditch line here. And that probably should be good. Maybe uh, grab the building lines as well and we'll click OK or close and then I'll click OK to that because I've selected the objects so it's going to go out it's going to build a triangulated surface you can see that now it's got a bunch of triangles using that data if we look at it in our 3D viewer we can um, rotate it around we can zoom in you can see this defined our ditch within this area we've got some structures that it's also picked up and we can go through and edit and make sure that you know it, we bring in other data um, 
as well. So you can see it's just exaggerated. So if I was to bring it down and make it look a little bit more realistic. But all the uh, information's here, it's a surface. And now I can take that surface and I can simply go and uh, go to my project here and I can export that out to different file formats. I can send it back out to a DXF file or a DGN or a DWG. I can send it out to a SketchUp file so I can bring it in a SketchUp and use it. I can also uh, send it out to GIS format. So if I want to send this to uh, KML or KMZ for Google Earth, I could do that as well as shape files. Even send it out as a TTM file for my machine control. I can send it out as a land XML file. So maybe this one has to go out to somebody using uh, another uh, program and they need a land XML of the surface that I manipulated. Um, any of those options are available. So again, with the free version, you get some pretty neat, easy, uh, free functionality. Uh, even if I go to CAD, I've got all kinds of CAD tools for drawing, you know, polylines and polygons and breaking lines and joining lines. So a lot of these features are free. Some of them you have to purchase a module. So if you want more functionality, you gives you the ability to go in and purchase that and add that to your your software. So you can kind of start and get your feet uh, uh, wet, basically going with the free version. And then as you become more comfortable with it, and you want more functionality, you purchase the software. So again, just wanted to show you some neat stuff because I don't think people really realize that Business Center AC is very powerful and that you can do a lot with it and it doesn't cost you anything to get started.